and welcome to Minerland. I'm glad you've made it here safely through the portal. What's that? You thought you were watching an educational video? Well, you're not the first one. Earthlings tend to get confused about these things. I can understand that, though. You know, you saw a familiar symbol and didn't realize it had two functions. It's like the key signature in music. Key signatures can represent both major and minor keys. Each key signature represents a set of notes, but we can't tell if a key signature is major or minor just by looking at it. Where you assume a major key signature, I assume a minor key signature. Sounds confusing? Don't worry, let's start with what you already know. When you see a key signature, your automatic response is to figure out the key, right? So if it's a sharp major key signature like this one, you know that the key is one half step higher than the last sharp shown in the key signature. That means that this example, where C sharp is the last sharp shown, signifies the key of D major, where D is the home note, or tonic. And in a flat major key signature like this one, you know that you can find the key by identifying the second to last flat shown. So this example shows E flat major. But since minor keys have key signatures too, and the key signature does not show tonality, we can't just tell by looking at the key signature alone whether the piece is major or minor. For example, here in minor land, where you see the key of D major, we see the key of B minor. They use the same letter notes and have the same key signature, but because they are centered around a different note, D major revolving around D, and B minor revolving around B, they have a different tone and different emotional feel. This is called relative key. Relative keys are major and minor keys that share the same key signature. It's like if you had an evil twin. Although you look the same and you have the same DNA, you are two totally different people and you act differently. All you need to do to find the relative minor from a major key signature is to count backwards three half steps. For example, C major has no sharps or flats. It's just C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. When working backwards through the musical alphabet three half steps, so from C to B, from B to B flat, and from B flat to A, we find that the relative minor of C major is A minor. This means that A minor has no sharps or flats, just a, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. But because the tonal center is now A instead of C, the music will sound different than C major. We know that a key signature with one sharp is G major. When counting backwards three half steps, we find that the relative minor is E minor. 